As you might notice, I am currently not at home. I packed some eggs and the dogs and drove to my grandparents' house, aka our summer house, for Easter to spend some time with my family, walking the dogs and enjoying some absolutely magical spring weather and sauna, of course. Kada du måste gå runt. Kom runt, kom. Kada, hitta. beautiful forest shots I think it's the perfect time for me to tell you about Wild who I have partnered with for this video. Wild is a company that wants to shake up the throwaway culture of everyday bathroom products with refillable products that actually work. Their deodorants contain no single-use plastic and come in reusable cases with compostable refills. I have been using the wild deodorant for quite a while now and I absolutely love it. Whether I am working long days at the stable, roam around the forest, or do yard work at home, this deodorant has been absolutely incredible at keeping me feeling and smelling fresh. Now I personally love products that smell really good and Wild has a whole bunch of scents for you to try. Including these three brand new seasonal scents that they have just launched that I can't wait to get my nose on. My current favorite is called Ocean Mist. There's also an unscented option for anyone sensitive to fragrances and there's also an option for sensitive skin. These deodorants do not contain any aluminium salts, sulfates or parabens and all of the wild formulas are certified vegan and cruelty free. If you want to learn more about what ingredients makes wild deodorant so effective, you can click the link in my description box to learn more on the wild website and also use my discount code CAMILLAWILD in all caps for 20% off all of the wild products, including your first subscription. You can order worldwide and all of the customs are already prepaid by wild. And my favorite little bonus is that anytime you buy from wild, they plant a tree and you help grow the wild forest. Thanks to wild's partnership with On A Mission. So again, use my code CAMILLAWILD for 20% off all of the wild products and be quick because it's a limited offer. Now back to the video. We had to cut down a few spruces in my spruce fence recently and so I was in need of some new little trees to fill up the spaces and luckily there were some tiny little spruce trees growing on solid rock here by our summer house. So I decided to pack them with me and take them home for a more suitable place to grow.
home, but my absolute favorite uh, thrift store happened to be open today, so I decided to stop here on the way. There looks to be quite a bit of people, so I'm not sure how much I will film in there, but maybe something. So one of the reasons this is my absolute favorite thrift store is because, because it is filled to the brim with vintage furniture and just old um, home decor stuff and you can find almost anything in here. Um, so today I was on the hunt for some um, bedside tables um, because I currently don't really have any. One of my biggest issues is that I can't decide if I'm just if I should just um, buy two different ones or try to find two that matches. It seems to be nearly impossible to find two cool ones that matches. I don't know why people only have one bedside table of a kind. And the same issue did present itself here, but it's always nice to um, look at all the stuff they have. Some of the beautiful frames I have at home, I have also bought from this place. So they didn't have a lot of things I wanted this time. They did have a lot of clothes, but I, uh, it wasn't really what I was looking for. So I just tried to close my eyes uh, and not uh, look at it because I would just pile it on, but I did find a jacket.
was absolutely beautiful spring weather this past weekend. It was like 15 degrees outside at least. So beautiful. So I just tried to come up with any type of yard work to do so I could be outside. My rose bushes definitely need a trim before summer, but it's a little too early to cut them down. However, I do have one in my chicken run that is um, a not so nice variety. It wouldn't be the end of the world if it died altogether, but I decided to just cut it down and hopefully it will grow back uh, a little prettier maybe. If you remember last spring I did a video about these pine trees I have on this old riding paddock behind the stable. We decided to try to move a couple of them to other parts of the yard and it seems to have worked great. They actually all survived and they look green and happy so I decided to do the exact same thing this spring as soon as the uh, ground had thawed and before the pines sort of wake up from their winter sleep. So I picked out two so I picked out two trees and then realized one of them was maybe a little too big. The tree itself isn't too heavy, but the clump of soil that was still pretty wet was definitely a lot here by the stable also but I think that is something for another video because now I'm getting tired and it's late and I have to go walk the dogs <laughs> 